This is the smart box setup. You're gonna get your box in the mail that looks like this. You're gonna simply open it up, take out the unit, the smart box unit. Below that, you have your USB mouse, the power supply, HDMI that's included, HDMI cable that's included. So the first thing that you wanna do is take out your mouse, open up the back battery compartment, turn it over, and then the USB will simply fall out. You wanna take that USB, pick up your device, and plug it into one of these two ports or the side. There's three USBs. We're gonna plug it into the side over here, like so, and you can see the other two USBs. Now, what we're gonna do is set that down. I, since I have the battery compartment open, I'm gonna put in two AAA batteries. Then I'm going to close it up. And then lastly, I'm going to take the power supply unit, plug one end into the electrical outlet, plug it into the back like so. And then finally, the HDMI cable, one end into your TV, the other end into where it says HDMI, plug that in, and the box will automatically turn on and you're ready to go. Then after a few seconds, you'll see a bootloader, you'll see an Android logo, and then the home screen for the Smartbox unit. Thank you. Hi, you're now looking at the home screen on a television after the Streambox unit is turned on. Now if you look at the bottom, there are five different icons to choose from. The first one is the TV icon. The next one is the Google Chrome icon where you could surf the web. The middle one is called your app drawer. This is where you can see all the apps and settings in the smart box. Next is the Google Play Store where you can download different apps like games. Um, then finally we have the settings icon on the right. That's the first thing you need to do when setting up the smart box for the first time. And you'll look on the left and there's Wi-Fi. You could turn that on, Bluetooth or a direct ethernet cable. We're just gonna go with Wi-Fi. We're gonna click on, and then we're gonna type in our password. So I'm gonna click on this one, just type in my password for my Wi-Fi connection, hit connect, and I'm done. Now I'm gonna go back, now that it's connected, I'm gonna go ahead and click on the Google Chrome icon. Again, this is where you could surf the web, so I'm gonna go back. And now I'm going to click on the TV icon. This is what we'll be talking about for the rest of the time. Now you will see a bar that says TV, videos, music, and system. We're going to click on TV. This is your live TV channel, folks. So you click on TV, and we'll show you that there's a few hundred channels to choose from. And now I'm going to click on one of them. Click on CNN. To stop people getting a disease in the now it place. pops up. But the important thing is to act now. And now I'm going to hit to stop involved, go to, to go out. I hit stop to go out. Now I'm going to go back to the back to the main menu screen. Now there's videos. Under videos, you'll see Genesis. This is where you can watch all your movies, TV shows. Um, sports Devil is for s sports. Prime One Channel, aka Prime Wire, is also for movies and TV shows. NBC Sports, all your sports. And Phoenix is for international TV stations. So you can watch live local TV from all over the world, over 80 countries. But we're going to choose Genesis first. And then it's broken into movies, TV shows, channels, My Genesis, latest movies, latest episodes, tools, and search. Let's go ahead and click on movies. Now it's it's what's nice is it's categorized. You could search by genre if you want to watch reality movies. Um, you can watch um, horror movies. You can watch comedies. You name the genre. Languages, box office years. 
we're going to click on most popular. You'll also see Oscar winners, what's in theaters. You guys play around, but I like most popular. And then you'll see movies that some of them are still not even out in theaters yet. So they do put up a poster there. If we click on Avengers, for example, you probably won't get a stream. It'll say no stream available. That's because it hasn't even hit theaters yet. See how it says no stream available? It's not even hit theaters yet. Birdman on the left there was just voted best picture. Let's click on that one. So if it says no stream available, all that means is it's not out in theaters yet. And you'll see it's working on the right hand side. And then the next thing that comes up is all the streams. You just choose a stream and click it and that's it. But you can see that there's over at the bottom right there, you'll see 496 items. That means there's 496 streams available for you to choose from. On the end, it'll say SD, or if you go up to the top, it'll say HD. Obviously, high definition is, is HD, SD is standard definition. And you'll also see on the newest movies, when it's first released, cam. That means it's camcorded. Obviously, most people don't like to watch cam. Just wait a week, maybe two, after it's been out in theaters for a week or two, and you'll get at least an SD or an HD version. Let's go ahead and click on uh, the top stream for Birdman. So you just click on the stream and that's it. And I'm going to see where it says at the bottom search. You could type in your favorite show. So let's do that. And I'm going to type in Game of Thrones. So I'm just going to type in game. Hit done. And then anything related to the word game will come up. And you can see Game of Thrones is right there. It also has every Netflix uh, shows as well that are exclusively for Netflix, like House of Cards. But let's go ahead and click on Game of Thrones. You'll see it's working. And then here are all four seasons. We'll click on the last season. And then I'll scroll down to the last episode. And you're not losing quality for speed because you will have a nice quality picture in HD. So there's, if you look at the bottom again, 258 streams available. So there's plenty to choose from. So if the first one doesn't work or the second one doesn't work, eventually one will pop up. 90% of the time, the first one will pop up. And Game of Thrones starts right up. I'm going to let it play for a few seconds. Now I want to show you the bottom toolbar. You can see the bottom toolbar here. You have rewind, pause, stop, fast forward. And then this is downloading subtitles. It's a new feature for the smart box. I'll show you how that works real quick. So if people are part of hearing or they just like to watch in, in uh, subtitled, they can do that. So we're going to do that right now. Click on download. Click on English. It does offer Spanish, French. Now I'm just going to skip ahead and show you the uh, subtitles. Jamie. You won. One fewer brother. Okay, now I'm going to hit stop. Really so you just hit download know. subtitles. Pick what, what language you want and you're done. Now we're going to go back to the home page by hitting the home at the bottom. Now I'm going to show you a hidden toolbar. If you uh, put your mouse arrow at the very bottom, like you see what I'm doing, 
grab, hold down your left mouse button and drag up, you're going to see several icons at the bottom. It does disappear, so I'm going to keep popping it up. You have the volumes on both sides. You have the home in the middle. You have the exit button to go back to the home screen. And then you have that double window. We're going to click on that. So if anything's loading slow or just giving you a problem and you want to kind of reset your box or clear out your history, this is what you do. You click on that double window icon and you just take the window that you want to uh, delete and hold your left mouse button and throw it up or down. So you can see I'm just holding my mouse button and throwing it up or down. Now we're going to go back into TV again. Show you besides Genesis. Again, Genesis will show you under videos. Genesis will offer your TV, your movies. Um, now you have your sports devil. Let's click on that. We're going to click on live sports. And then there's three to choose from. Most of these offer international sports. Mostly international soccer and all the other uh, worldwide sports. But for U.S. sports, primarily we recommend firstrowsports.eu and .ge or vipbox.tv. I'm going to click on vipbox.tv. And then you can see all the sports offered and then the now playing. So let's click on now playing. And you can just see what's playing in the world of sports. Right now it's early afternoon, so you're going to get a lot of worldwide sports. But this has everything from tennis, boxing, the latest fights, UFC, and you name it, you can stream it. So I'm going to go out of here now. Again, one more stop, and then first row sports we recommend, and VIP box. That'll give you, but you can play around, enjoy. There's a learning curve with the box. Go ahead and hit the home button again. And now I'm going to click on um, Phoenix. This has your international um, live TV stations from over 80 different countries. And then you can see all the different flags. I'll just scroll down for a quick second. So it has all the flags to choose from. Now I'm going to hit the home button again. And then under music. It offers radio stations from all over the world, local, live, st top 100 stations. You can choose. If you want to search for, you know, your favorite local or national radio station, it has it. If you want to wit listen to just Beatles music, there's a radio station for it. Um, if you want to listen to music from the 60s or 70s or even present day, you just cho choose by genre. Now I'm going to go back out of here. Again, play around with the box. If you have any questions, please feel free to call our customer service number. We'll be more than happy to help you. Um, and that's really about it. So thank you for your time. Oh, finally, if you want to add and change your sub menu. Under videos, go to add-ons. And then you'll see we did download a bunch of different ones. The ones on the front page, the Genesis, the Sports Devil, all of those are what we chose for you, but you can update them. You can choose any of these, or you can choose Get More. So now you'll see I'm going to grab that scroll bar, and I'm just going to whiz down. There's close to a thousand different channels that you can basically get. So I'm just going to pick one. And then I'm going to show you how to install it. So I'm going to click install. All it's going to do is take about five seconds. You can see how fast it just downloaded for me. Now if I go back to the home page, I'm going to go under system. You'll see I added it. Now I'm going to go under system. I'm going to show you how to add it to your sub menu at the bottom. Go to appearance, skin, slide over to settings. Go to add on shortcuts and you see how we have this. It says home page video sub menu and then there are the add ons. OK, we're going to replace one channel. So I'm going to click on that one. I'm going to go to the one that I just installed. Which was Yiffy movies. I'm going to click click it. I'm going to hit X. Go back to the home screen. 
And then you see how I just added Yiffy. So you can add and delete your favorites. There's cooking shows. I mean, you name the show. Um, you know, th it's something for everybody. I mean, this box is endless on what you want to find. So that should do it. Again, if you have any questions, please feel free to call customer service. If not, thank you so much for your time and have a great day.